Yeah. Should I talk, right? Five years from today, I'll repeat the same thing and you hear it very well. Any problem you see next to you is a business opportunity. Can I use a food? Are people hungry? Get them food. Next thing, do people need dresses? Is there they're producing, being produced of water every day that must be carried away? Come on now. Do people need houses? Come on, do they? Do people need money? These, these are all human needs, and according to God, these are business opportunities. And a crisis time, yeah, this principle, is the most fertile period for business. But we we'll understand it later. <laughs> Next thing, the power of obedience. So when you have heard these things about the kingdom law for business, five of them, all right? Be fruitful, that means be productive. Multiply, all right? Replenish, subdue, and dominate. Five things, what do you do? You receive an instruction from the Lord, you gain knowledge, you seek to understand what it means, and you apply it. The next thing is that what? As you are diligent about it, progressively you will rule. Hallelujah. Let's finish up with this one and get to the next one quickly. Let's look at some empowerment scripture. Genesis 1 20, Genesis 26, verse 1 to 3. Can I tell you a story about Isaac? Read that it says, The man sowed in that land. There was famine, first of all. Alright? The lamb and girl. Alright, check this now. Isaac wants to go down to Egypt. And God said, Don't stay here. So in this man. He followed instructions. When you study the Bible deeply, you understand Isaac was a man of meditation. A man who would separate himself and reflect on the promises of God to his what? Father Abraham. Praise God. And he stayed on that land, planted that same year, and reaped a hundredfold. The Bible says in verse 14 of Genesis 6, the man became so great, so wealthy and prosperous, and had possessions of flocks, man said, and all of that to the extent that the Philistines envied him. We'll see that other business challenges. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus, you become an enviable Isaac of our time. Galatians 4 28, we take after the order of Isaac in terms of prosperity. I decree it shall be our Lord in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will open your eyes to understand things. You shall not fall into the traps and deceptions we see today in Jesus' name. The Lord shall give you specific instructions for your unique business exploits, and you will make great success in Jesus' name. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we'll end this first session. I want to go into the next thing quickly and show you what next we should do. And we'll save time. Praise God.